Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We're going off on a little side path today, Brad. Today we're going to talk about one way to keep your baby or grandbaby healthy. Oh. you got some grandbabies, right? Well, yeah, they're getting not to be babies anymore. Yeah, they're they're, they're they in the toddler fast. stage. And well, two years old is the youngest. So. Okay, gotcha. So you may, as our audience, you may or may not know that Brad and I share a goal that we're trying to help as many people as we can before we're put into that cold, cold earth. <laughs> so, uh, one, and that oh. includes babies. Uh, and I don't just mean Brad. I mean tiny babies. So how can we help babies, Brad? Sure. Well, um, they need to sleep. They need to sleep. Properly, healthily, and comfortably. Right. Is healthily a word? <laughs> so <laughs> so um, it's a concern of parents, of course, and a concern of grandparents. And um, as many of you may know, we have a relationship with sleep mm -hmm. They We really like their adult mattresses. They're coming out with a baby mattress. They've come out with a baby right. mattress. Right, here it is. And we're really impressed with it. And it addresses some of the concerns that you may have about your child when they're sleeping. Baby. Actually, some of the concepts are very similar to the adult mattress, but yes. they, they've modified it to fit the infant uh, or the toddler. Let's talk about them. Uh, okay, this is a word I had never heard of before, Brad. Uh, plagiocephaly. Pra yeah. Plagiocephaly, I can't right. even say it. Right. Yeah. It's uh, flat head syndrome. So, your brother had this. Right. And, well, it still does. And uh, oh, what, what happened? Well, you get your head become flat on the back. And, you know, as a matter of fact, Chris's son has it as well. Uh, some of that work. Chris sure. Did. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, when you have long hair, you don't see it. But if you right. have no hair, little hair, you can see uh, the head's not rounded normally so uh, some of the stems from brad that you know we really encourage people to to uh lie their lay their baby on their back because right. they don't want sids to happen so right sudden infant death yeah. syndrome so you know you're getting all the pressure on the back of the head it's at that stage where it's the bones are still growing and forming right. so it can actually flatten out i know they uh a certain percentage of children to actually have them wear a helmet then yep. mm -hmm. and to reshape it. So sure. um, this, hopefully, this mattress, and we'll show you in a minute why it might actually reduce the pressure and help with flat head right. syndrome. That's what they we specifically don't designed this for, on the, especially on yeah. the one side. And they're doing a study on it right now uh, through Seattle Hospital, I believe. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll mention that too later. Um, overheating, uh, we want a mattress that doesn't overheat. This has got little air channels. We'll show that in a minute. Rollovers and uh, proper spine support. Right. So all those things. Very similar to, to adults, but it's different when you're tiny. But yeah, I just want to say, you know, the guy who invented the Sleep Evasion mattress, he's got 36 patents, Brad, in, in the U.S. for all mattresses. For mattresses. Yes, and he's got hundreds of patents in Europe. Oh. Or overseas. So this guy, he, I, I consider him the genius. I sure. Mean, he knows what he's doing. He's been around and uh, it's been his life. For so I, yeah, exactly. I feel really comfortable in supporting anything that he makes because mm -hmm. I know that he's gone, you know, to the nth degree to make sure it's safe and that it's going to be the best mattress sure. out there. So let's let's show match, uh, Brad. First, show the mattress. Uh, this is the Sleep Evasion Baby mattress. The thing is, what's cool about this? It's got two sides. So this side is made for the infant, and it's got little, what, teddy bears on there? Right, so. as far as you can see. So in other words, the cushion on this is designed for a lighter, smaller body. Right. And then on the other side. It's for toddlers. Toddlers. So yeah. as they grow, then you'll flip it over and use this side. And we can, we'll show you a little bit the difference from one side to the right. other. Right. And uh, if you look inside, actually, they have it printed on the inside uh, cover right to uh, infant and so if you clean the cover you don't have to worry about putting it on right right you know, yeah you want to keep it consistent so we'll get rid of that part brad and we'll show it's quite light and we actually have a baby here yeah, brad it's a it's a it's a model <laughs> you know i i really want a grandchild uh yeah 
Uh, Matt, you, Brenna? <laughs> <laughs> get them yeah. to work. Get, get to get to work. Still practicing. Yeah, I don't know if I can put pressure on my children. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I, we don't know the rules on that. Yeah, you don't know the rules on that. <laughs> so anyway, this is really cool. Um, this is the in, infant side that's up. But look at the little tiny mattresses that you can see here. And it's got air channels, so it keeps it cool. But this reduces pressure, again, 25 to 35 percent, spreads out the forces. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting uh, point pressure. So I think it was, uh, yeah, Seattle Children's Hospital is uh, conducting some uh, tests on these to see if it works with plagiocephaly. Sure. Um, and they're also applying for FDA clearance okay. for that. So. Yep. so they're taking all the channels, making right. sure they do it right. And this side, then, is the toddler side so i don't know what when do you become a toddler i don't know if it's that two-year-old you know every they yeah. grow different sizes but uh, right. yeah it could depend on a child too mm -hmm. so so this is not this is obviously just a, a sample. they right. don't come this right. size right they're that larger and they're standard up size. and so um the thing is also that cover is on the infant side it's water resistant okay on the other side, the taller side, it's waterproof, oh. which I guess is even more than water resistant. Yeah, because at that age, they you may be really potty put, training and really put there can spray. be some issues there. So uh, I had issues like that when I was a kid. <laughs> well, let's be honest, Brad. You had issues a lot older than that. <laughs> My poor parents. We're also, you can buy some extra covers mm -hmm. if you want to, Brad. Yeah. Um, it comes in two sizes, I believe. Um, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, of course, it's going to be made with um, safe, non-toxic materials. Sure, right. Which Brad and I, you know, you, we get products sometimes from overseas, and we got once a neck supporter. Yeah. And we couldn't even, we could, it, it, the smell was so bad, and it never went away. Remember that? Yeah, it and was. For weeks later, yeah. it was still there. If it wasn't toxic, it yeah. smelled like it was. Right, right. Yeah, we did not... Uh, <laughs> we put that one off to the side. But this has all the standards, meets all the standards. I don't know what they, they're called. They're Certiber, USA Certified, um, and AT, ASTM, Cribs Mattress Standards. I don't know what this There's stuff something is. something they can look at Sleep Ovation right, website right. and read it for themselves. Sure. That's about all I, w I have to say about this, Brad. Right. I just think, you know, we're going to make that baby happy. And uh, someday, hopefully will make me happy by giving me a grandbaby. <laughs> <laughs> They'll all come at once, Bob. Yeah, that's three right. Or four of them three. Within so, a couple, three years. I'll that's be a happy guy. That'll be fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>